fall afternoon, about 3.45 p.m., my sister and I are riding home the bus from school. We had just let um, Calvin Deisler off the last stop. We're nearly the last stop on the bus. For some reason, they pick us up first and they drop us off last. It's a really bad plan. But we came over the hill and our farmhouse is in the middle of two hills in Iowa. And um, there's no other house that you can really see from, from where we live. And we live on a gravel road. And the windows are down on the bus and we always come to, we get up to our, our driveway or our lane that we called it. And as usual, the dust comes billowing up from the gravel and comes in the, comes in the windows and you have that smell of dust. And this particular bus happened to be one of those new buses with the nice big seats, kind of smell like pleather, I call it. Kind of that plastic leather smell. <laughs> and it just feels like it's an everyday occurrence. It just smells like the bus. It smells like getting home from school. And we get out of the bus, and at this point, you know which way the wind is going, because I live on a pig farm. <laughs> and if the wind is going north, you get hit by the smell of the barns and the pigs and all the stuff that comes along with those. This particular day, the wind was going south, so we were able to walk up the long lane and driveway, and we could smell the corn. The corn's all up here on the on the one side of the driveway and it's crisp and it's getting ready for harvest and it's kind of falling starting to fall off onto the ground and on the other side they just bailed some hay and so we're walking up and dodging grasshoppers they don't have those here but in Iowa there's grasshoppers everywhere and so you're you know we're grossed out we're walking around trying to not let those grasshoppers cling onto your legs and walking up and we finally get up closer to the house and you can smell the farm and you can smell all the different smells up there but thank goodness we walk into the house and my mom is so good she always has cookies or brownies or breads or something that we can come into and snack on as soon as we get home so we go in and that particular day she had some chocolate chip cookies for us we get our cookies and try to go in front of the television and get a little bit of the after school special but as we ride the bus home, we always get about the last 20 minutes of that after school special. And we look in the, out the front window and there's, there's no sign of dad down by the barns and no sign is a good sign. <laughs> so we are watching television, eating our cookies, and then we hear, <sighs> we know that sound. It's kind of like Pablo's dog. You're like, oh, you don't, you don't need words. You don't need anybody to say anything. Get another one. This huge whistle comes from down there. You, we peek our head out the door. He's like, come on down, girls. Get your barn clothes on. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have lived on a pig farm, but you have barn clothes. You have barn clothes that you wear down to the barn. They have a special place in the house. They have a special laundry day because barn clothes always smell like barn clothes. I don't know what it is about pigs, but that smell does not come out of your clothes. You can often get it out of your hair, but not out of your clothes. So we put our barn clothes on and head down to the barn and we help mow around the barns and did a little sweeping in the barns. My dad can make one job that's meant for one person into a job for three or four people. It's some master delegating skills. So we complete our chores and come back up to the house and about this time it's getting close to dinner time and my mom is a master cook a master at cooking country food so that day we were having fried chicken and mashed potatoes and mushy green beans as well as peach cobbler my mom makes this incredible homemade crust and peels all the peaches and has a crust on top and it's just kind of you can see it bubbling out and it smells up the whole entire house and we sit down to dinner and we kind of talk about our day and just realize that this is a good day in Iowa <coughs> a good day these are some of the memories that I have of being in Iowa and I don't know how some of you know when you're in Iowa maybe you um, go see an Iowa Hawkeyes game or Go see the Iowa State Cyclones beat KU in basketball. That's a good day. 
Maybe you go to the famous Iowa State Fair or you watch the Iowa caucuses on television. Maybe it's as simple as seeing a lot of corn around or reading Madison, Bridges of Madison County. But for me, feeling Iowa and being back home in Iowa, it's the smell of Iowa. It's the smell of the dust from the gravel, living on a gravel road for 17 years. It's the, the smell of corn being harvested or the bales of hay and the smell of the, those hay bales after they've sat there for a little while. Some of it's the smell of the pigs and the barn clothes. And the little pigs really actually smell kind of good. Um, there's also the smells of the delicious food that my mom has made for years and years, the, the good country cooking, the fried chicken and the cobblers and the cookies. So for many people, there's lots of different ways to know when you're in Iowa. For me, I know I'm home because, well, it smells like Iowa. <laughs> <laughs>